I'm going to replace the touchscreen, the stereo touchscreen, with this one right here. Got all the wire harnesses, the remote. I took it out of the box already. Just wanted to make sure everything was there. And so I'm getting the Planet Audio P9640. The review is pretty good. 320 watts, four channel on Amazon. I definitely needed aux cable input. And then I needed Bluetooth. I needed, you know, not really too big on the backup camera, but it has it. And just a few other little features that it has, like it could play movies, DVDs, CDs, and all that stuff. So it would be a really good bang for the buck, under 100 bucks. And I like it. It's got these old school knobs on here. I will show you how to do this. Um, I just got off of work and it started raining a little bit. So I don't know if you guys can see that now, but it's supposed to be raining about another two more hours or so. I have the Kenwood now. It's just really outdated, really old school. Just want something newer with Bluetooth and more other features. So yeah, let's get it done. Take off the negative battery terminal because I don't want any electricity. I don't want to take a chance and short anything out. So I went ahead and do that. I'm actually gonna move this out of the way too. So I just have more, some more room. And then we're just gonna lift up this panel. Just like this, it should easily come off. Make sure you don't break these tabs. Just be very careful. What the heck, there's no screws here. There should be some screws or clips on here. It doesn't have it, I don't know why. So probably the previous owner pop this out like this. There you go, just like that. Next thing we wanna do is take off these two 10 millimeters. Remove this panel here underneath and we'll do it with the right flat screwdriver. Very brittle. We got these with the same 10 millimeter. Hard to get at this angle and show you guys. So I'll first take everything on and show you what I took it out. Okay, so here it is. Basically, I took all that off. It's really not that complicated because it tells you everything on here. Like uh, as far as letting a rear cam, AV out, or navigation, out audio, you know, power. Then you got the speakers over here. It's not complicated at all. As long as you can read right there, the white and black, and then the white one. Take the off first so you can better see, and you can take all this stuff. Just, again, be careful. Don't break anything. I recommend take pictures before you take everything, like the color coding and stuff like that. Before I do anything, I want to plug the, the new one and just test it out to make sure the sound quality is good. So the yellow will be battery, the black will be ground, and the red will be the ignition switch. So when it's switched on, then it will give power to the uh, stereo system. You could use like a kit like these to put them together. Like either the red or blue one, you could put those together. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done and then show you guys. I got the aux plane already. Looks really nice. It's just so dark. I can't really show you nothing what's going on there. Our final product. So all I gotta do is really just clip this back on. Finish this video off tomorrow once it's fully installed and then I'll show you guys the one sound clip on that. We'll see you tomorrow. Good news guys, the install is all finished up here and it fit pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Not too much space, it's a perfect fit. I'm not gonna play any music because of copyright. I don't wanna take the chance, but here's the main homepage. Well, this is the main homepage. You have all your applications, camera setting, USB, SD. Really the only reason why I got it, micro SD port right there, which I could use, you know, uh, and have all kinds of songs and stuff, movies that I want on there. It's just more convenient for me. But honestly, I would really recommend 
to buy a Pioneer. They're more expensive, but if you can, why not get a Pioneer? They're much of a better brand than this one, but it still works pretty good and does everything you want it to do. It has pretty much everything for your standard users, except this one doesn't have navigation. And if I want to set up a backup camera, that, would, that, that could easily be done with this stereo as well. So that was that. I do have some news. So I was gonna go to import face off. Uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, some of you might have known that. If you don't, by the way, follow me. But anyways, I was about to go to import face off, which was yesterday, but something happened. If you guys don't know what this is, this is basically the harmonic balancer or the crank pulley. It broke apart and surprisingly it's still running on the main pulley itself but this is gone so it still works it's just it kind of sounds a little bit high it sounds all nasty but i mean it's still running and everything just not a good idea to keep running it so i bought one already that's going to come in and then i also have some blue lights coming in for the uh, dash and the clock for the whole inside. So that's gonna look so nice on the IS. You definitely wanna be paying attention to the next few videos if you have an IS 300, because there's more content coming you guys way. Oh yeah, if you guys do need parts for your IS 300, you already know what to do. Email us at import1, no, import1unlimited at gmail.com. Just email us if you need some parts for your IS 300. We have plenty of parts for it, OEM and stuff like that. DM me at Instagram and let us know what you need and we might have what you're looking for. Thank you guys for all the subscribers. So please do comment. We want to know what you guys think. So till next video guys, bye. So let me guys know what you need. Ugh. Cut.